Hello, this is Eric at the Prince George Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2019 Ram 1500 in a Bighorn trim, and powered by a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing. Also coming with running boards down below, and on the back you have a uh, boat rack, I believe, or something of the sort, and a soft top tonneau cover so you can cover up your belongings and keep them protected from the elements. So you've got something nice there. But let's take a look inside. And first looking at the back where you have very spacious seating for three that can be lifted up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo you want to put back here. And then underneath your rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle, you do also have some storage compartments here for some more storage potential with tie down hooks and everything. And in the middle, you have pulled out armrests with two cup holders, as well as having two more right there in the middle with a little cubby and two USBs and USB C's. And then under that, you have a 115 volt power outlet. So very well looked after in the back seat. And this truck does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on this cold morning to warm up your truck. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as power folding mirrors. And then you do have a fully power adjustable driver's seat and power adjustable pedals. And now sitting in the truck with it running, you can see it's sitting at uh, 31,738 kilometers. And moving down to the steering wheel, on the right hand side, you have your cruise control controls here, and then your, um, your gear shift, your manual gear shift, so you can manually shift through your gears, of course, that's what the name suggests. And uh, then on the left side, you have your hands-free phone controls, as well as your controls for your center info screen here, where you can look at things such as your radio station, your trailer tow, your trip information for your trip A and B, and your fuel economy, vehicle info, such as tire pressures, coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, gauge summary, and then engine hours. So very, very extensive digital speedometer and settings for your features around your vehicle and your screen setup in general, as well as stored messages. But then on the back side of the steering wheel, you do also have your hands-free radio controls, so you can control that from there, very convenient. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is Radio Sirius. Uh, CD, USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth, so you do have quite a few options there for whatever you want to listen to, however you want to listen to it. You also have your digital climate controls with dual front climate, as well as heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. So plenty of options for comfort, no matter the weather or climate. And you also have your, your apps screen, which is a lot of your uh, vehicles, just controls in general. You have your seat controls, I believe. Once again, heated seats and steering wheel. And your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels. And finally, your phone controls. So we don't have a phone connected, so we'll just go to radio. And then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera with reverse sensors that will alert you if you're about to hit anything, so hopefully you can avoid that. And you have a dynamic hitch view, so you can zoom in and hopefully have an easier time hooking up a trailer or something of the sort. Uh, then just above your screen you have a 12 volt power outlet here so you can plug something into power or charge. And then moving below your screen you have your physical media controls here of course, and then your climate controls, your physical ones with, once again, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and dual front climate. Um, moving down from that though, here you have your trailer brake controller, your traction control shut off, your tow haul mode, and your front and rear park assist shutoffs. Not sure why you would, but it is an option. To the left of that, you have your shifter, of course, with your 4x4 controls here, with hill descent control, and I believe a locking rear differential, so that's pretty nice too. Um, then below all these switches here, you have uh, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and uh, your CD player, of course, and your auxiliary, so you can plug all your stuff in, your audio or your stuff that you want to charge or power, and then you have your center console her area here, which is very customizable, has two cup holders and a cubby thing area, but it can be slid out of the way to access your little phone holders here and all of your storage underneath here. And then this is your center compartment slash armrest, which is very spacious, even has another USB inside, and can be opened up so that you can get into here for even more storage potential. It's wild. And oh, there's actually another 115 volt power outlet down there as well. You have a compartment here, so that's neat too. And then last but not least, you do also have a power sliding rear window. But that should cover our look at the interior.
So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.